Hey everyone, I'm Sam Woods. It's good to be speaking with you today. So when I think about what AI can do for real estate agents in particular, I see a world of opportunities opening up. On the one hand, you have very simple and basic use of ChatGPT or Claude or any of the many other models for anything that has to do with content, marketing, and, and sales. That's on the, on the very simple side, but also there are opportunities for you to include more deep work with analysis. So taking, let's see, a history of listings and analyzing commonalities between listings that sold quickly, for example. And this is as simple as you taking the information about the listings that you've had, or even listings that are part of a brokerage, or just in your local area, and you gather that information, just information about the house, uh, just what the house is, uh, sizes and rooms and, and everything else. And if you gather that together, you can upload that information into something like ChatGPT or Claude, and you can ask for ChatGPT to tell you what are the commonalities between these listings? How are they different? And ask about the geographical area that they're in, you know, whatever the zip code might be or just the name of the town or, or anything else. And this, so there's a world of opportunity with the analysis that'll help you to identify patterns within listings that can help you not just write listings for descriptions, but also finding patterns inside the data. This can open up opportunities for you to decide, okay, here are the very micro local trends that are happening in this particular geographical location. If you look back at the past 12 months, then you can see more clearly patterns in the kinds of houses or other buildings that are sold. How are they common? How are they different to each other? And that can give you a better, more in-depth understanding of your area. And also you can do demographic research on that area to better understand the local real estate market. The biggest opportunity that I see are, comes down to analysis about the real estate market that you're in and anything from historical trends, but also to uh, do research with something like Manus or GenSpark that can do geographic research into local real estate markets. And so you combine that research with information from listings that you've had or that other agents in your area have. And when you put them together and have a conversation with the data, so to speak, you can uncover these patterns that can help you sell the right houses to the right people uh, faster than usual, even be ahead of whatever market trends are coming. And so if you're just a casual user of ChatGPT or Claude or anything like it, I encourage you to go a little bit deeper. You don't have to be a data specialist of any kind. You can literally ask what in this data can help me with that. And then ChatGPT or Claude will do an analysis. So there's a huge opportunity uh, to leverage these tools and models for that purpose. What I see in the future, the trends that I see in other markets, and I think will happen with real estate as well, is that when people, instead of uh, manually scrolling and browsing on something like Zillow or other websites, I am fairly certain that we'll see customized bots or agents, if you want to call it that, that someone can talk to and say, hey, we live on 18 Main Street in Springville and we want to move to a different state or we want to move a couple of towns over, then these agents or bots will do the real estate research for the person asking the question, right? And you'll these pe people will be able to get detailed real estate, tailored real estate advice and recommendations from these models and bots uh, pretty easily and pretty quickly. Now, this might sound like bad news to a real estate agent, but I think it's actually good news because if you have a bot like it that exists for your particular area, for your listings and your market and everything else, your agent or bot, whatever you want to call it, can become the go-to tool for people to use if they want to move to the area or if they're trying to sell in the area. So you can become the trusted expert, the trusted advisor by simply levering, leveraging AI, bots or agents as a tool to provide people with direct, customized, tailored information and answers without you having to spend all that time doing the research and everything else. And once you have that tool, then it's very easy to then insert a message in there 
to uh, suggest that they give you a call or that they email you or that they somehow contact you. So all you're doing is positioning yourself in the normal uh, information flow that people go through when they're looking for information about any particular area or houses or listings or anything like it. And you become the person, the real estate agent that these tools recommend. You can even do this uh, intentionally with ChatGPT and Claude so that when they do research online, you, your name for your particular market and local area can be the one that shows up. So don't see this as a threat. It's actually good news for real estate agents. All of this presents you with a unique moment in time. This window of opportunity will be open for a little bit longer. I don't know for, for how long exactly, is at least a few months, maybe a couple years, but this is happening right now. And so I recommend and suggest that you go beyond just having ChatGPT write emails and go for the deeper, more strategic work that you can have done with the help of this intelligence. All right, thanks.